So today we're going to talk about basically how to level up your battle pass as fast as you can. So as you guys can see, I have one, two, three, three pieces of the really cool Vex arm you get from the battle pass. Now, if you're a free to play player, then that's cool. No, no shade thrown right now, but you won't be able to get this because this is for the premium players only. So if you are coming here for that, then I do apologize, but you won't be getting this armor unless you pay for the thing. But if you just want to level up and get the levels, then by all means, this works for you as well. But you are just going to be a little, a little bit more limited than the people who did pay. So just to let you know. So let's go with what we need to do. So if you guys can see, I am level about to hit 80 and the game is the DLC has been out for like what a week actually it's been a week now and I've done pretty much everything all this <clears throat> there's still some armor that I haven't collected for reasons I'll probably explain later but as you guys can see I only need two more pages and I'm done so what do we need to do so let's go down here okay, skip all those guys gonna go to Banshee first so go to Banshee I haven't actually collected his stuff so we're gonna do this 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 I've already done these two but get this as well I'm gonna get that because why would I not <coughs> and then you're gonna go to Shax and like I said before I've already done the beginning to grab everything he has and then you can grab these they do give you bright dust I usually just grab them for the ones that I care to do them for so like Shax is the one that I usually do them for because I don't mind doing them because they're usually pretty easy aside from like the grenade slayer ones which is annoying go to this dildo I forget his name uh, Zavala and grab his stuff <coughs> you can grab his additional stuff as well his is probably easier than Shax in my opinion and now I am done with the bounty limit so if you guys can see I'm actually done but that's mostly because I have more quests here actually no I'm dumb so after that you can go to gambit get his stuff I hate gambit though as probably everyone in the community so I'm not gonna do that but like I said you should at least do the first two because they do give you 200 bright dust uh, weekly so if you do that with two all three characters then that's like what 200 is it 200 no it's 400 no how much is it i think it's 200 each so it's two four four eights so 1200 i'm pretty sure yeah <clears throat> you're gonna go to ikora get all her stuff get as much bounties as you can literally this is all you're gonna be doing for the rest of like ever bounty limit reached okay can i add any even more Oh, I can add more. Okay, so at this point, I pretty much exhausted all the bounties that I care to get because you can get, like I said, Drifter. You could get, oh, you could get Warner's bounties. You can get, uh, God, I forget her name. Beta, Ada. You get Ada, or is it name? Whatever. You can get her bounties as well. I'm not gonna do any of that because fuck all that noise. What you could do is you could go to the moon. You can get Eris's bounties, or you can go to each planet and get three each. Except the moon. But yeah, you can you can do, do the Tangled Shore bounties, you can do the Dreaming City bounties. You can do a bunch of stuff. So after you're done, save all of these. Don't like, once you complete one, don't do it. Just finish, wait until you have them all complete. And then once that's done, honestly, start, start um, completing them. You'll get levels like crazy. I'm not even fucking kidding, guys. Like, obviously, I'm not since I'm almost level 80 and it's barely been a week. So, that's pretty much it. I would show you guys me opening them, but I don't want to run bounties right now. I'm a little burnt out, obviously, from getting to level 80. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can do other stuff as well. You can. I heard the, the raid that gives you some pretty good XP. You can do vanguards over and over. You could do... The team scorched right now which is like what 25 kills to win or something like that 30 i think and so the rounds are going really fast you get a lot of xp 
You could also use that to farm the the Ariana's vow, uh, the, her her quest thing. So there's a bunch of ways you can get XP in this game. It's just it's ridiculous how easy it is now. But it is a little more grindy than before. It's like oh man, I I never did this many bounties than I have in the season. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's yeah. Just do that each. Each planet has three, and this the moon has a bunch more. Tangle Shore has a bunch more. Dream City has a bunch more, but it's like three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. That's eighteen bounties already right there, and these refresh daily. So even if like you don't want to do all those bounties from the tower, just doing these would be still great for daily stuff. So that's pretty much it. Do bounties, do a bunch of stuff that gets you XP, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you guys have any, any other tips and tricks uh, that you guys know about, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.